20 feet. <laughs> oh, hello. This is Melbourne Pool. It's a laugh. And we've been fishing here for some hours and uh, we've not caught anything. But I was reading up about, that's Melbourne Hall over there. And I was reading up about who used to own it. And the more I read about this guy, the more of a twat he is, or the more of a twat he comes across. I made a few notes and just listen to this. Uh, he first came to general notice because it, Lord Byron shagged his wife. And she, she coined a famous saying of uh, describing Lord Byron as being mad, bad and dangerous to know. But this guy, William Lamb, is notorious for believing that, um, how can I put this, only the aristocrats could rule or govern anything. Um, and he devoted the rest of his life to keeping down the middle classes and the working classes. Um, he was Prime Minister, not once but twice. And in November 1830, before he became Prime Minister, he was Home Secretary. And um, at the time, some impoverished agricultural workers protested that the invention of this newfangled threshing machine was going to make them even more poor than they were than the, at the time. Uh, so, did William Lamb embark on negotiation with these impoverished farm labourers? No, he didn't. One of the first things he did as Home Secretary was to insist that these poor sons were imprisoned or transported to Australia and he had a few hanged just for good measure. That's uh, good trade union relations. A year later, there was uh, some miners at Merthyr Tidville protested about the lowering of their wages and William Lamb, who lived over there, decided that at least one protester should be killed, just to set an example. So they got a 23-year-old miner and put him on a trumped-up charge of stabbing a policeman with a bayonet and hung the poor sod, despite an 11,000 signature petition saying it wasn't him, your honour. Um, and in his spare time he spanked uh, aristocratic ladies just over there. <laughs> but he drew that he only spanked them, he didn't go any further. Well, he obviously he shagged them. But um, the thing is, he took girls, um, impoverished girls, into his house as objects of charity. <laughs> whipped them. So, you know, this guy is like some character out of Blackadder. And um, I, for one, a bit later on, being the proud son of a Yorkshire miner, will take great pleasure in uh, having a shit in his back garden. And that's all I've got to say about William Lamb. Thank you very much.